Pastor, we thank you, Father, for your grace again. Baba Mungu, tunakushukuru tena kwa ajili ya neema yako. Lord, we have now come to the uh, important session. Bwana, tumekuja tena katika uh, kipindi muhimu concerning the family, kuhusu familia, where uh, uh, the life is formed. Mahali ambapo uzima unapatikana. And again that which represents the bride and the bridegroom. Na pia mahali ambapo pana wakilisha bwana harusi na bibi harusi. Help us Lord Jesus Christ. Tusaidie bwana Yesu Kristo. Let the Holy Spirit himself. Ebu Roho Mtakatifu mwenyewe speak to his own. Ane ajinenee mwenyewe. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Katika jina la bwana Yesu Kristo. Amen. May God bless you. Mungu awabariki. So just like everything we are going to start with the, the kama, scripture. Kama tu kila kitu kilivyo tunataenda kuanza na andiko. Without the Bible every meeting is not complete. Bila Biblia kila kila, kila, kila mkutano sio kukamilika. So now we are going to read. Kwa hivyo sasa tutaenda kusoma. Okay. We are going to read in the book of Genesis. Zema tutasoma katika kitabu cha Mwanzo. Genesis chapter uh, 16 1 to 16 Bible says Mwanzo 16 Biblia inasema from this from this one. Now Sarai Abraham's wife bare him no children and she had an handmaid an Egyptian whose name was Hagar. Basi Sarai mshewe Abraham alikuwa eh, hakumzalia mwana naye alikuwa na mjakazi Misri jina lake Hagiri and Sarai said unto Abraham Behold now the Lord hath restrained me from bearing I pray thee go in unto my maid it may be that I may obtain children by her and Abraham hearken to the voice of Sarai and Sarai, Sarai Abraham's wife uh, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, and Abraham had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her a husband, Abraham, to his wife. Sarai akamwambia Abraham, basi sasa bwana amenifunga tumbo ni shizai. Umuingilie mjakazi wangu, labda nitapata uzao kwa yeye. Abraham akaisikiliza sauti ya Sarai. Sarai mkewe Abraham akamtoa hajiri Misri mjakazi wake. Baada ya kukaa Abraham katika nchi ya Kanaani miaka kumi, akampa Abraham mumewe awe mkewe. And he went into and he went in unto Hagar and she conceived. And he, when she saw that she had conceived her mistress was despised in her sight in her eyes. And Sarai said unto Abraham, My wrong be upon thee. I have given my maid into thy bosom. And when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. The Lord judge between me and thee. But Abraham said unto Sarai, Behold, thy, thy handmaid is in thy hand. Do to her as it pleases thee. 
And when Sarai dealt hardly with her, she fled from her face. Basi, basi aka mwingilia hajiri nae, aka, hajiri nae akapata mimba. Nae alipoona ya kwamba amepata mimba, bibi yake alikuwa duni machoni pake. Sarai akamwambia Abraham, ubaya ulio nipata na uwe juu yako. Nimekupa mjakazi wangu kifua ni mwako. Naye alipoona kwamba amepata mimba, mimi nimekuwa duni machoni pake. Bwana na hukumu kati ya mimi na wewe. Naye Abraham akamwambia Sarai, "Tazama, mjakazi wako yu mkono ni mwako, mtendeli lilo jema machoni pako." Sarai akampesa, naye akakimbia kutoka mbele yake. May the Lord add his blessings upon the reading of his word. Bwana ongeze baraka kusomwa kwa neno lake. You cannot get sick. Sote tunaweza kuketi. Here we have read in the book of Genesis. Hapa tumesoma katika kitabu cha mwanzo. First of all, I want to thank everyone of you who have come. Kwanza kabisa napenda kumshukuru kila mmoja wenu ambaye amekuja. To come and listen. Uh, kuja na kusikiliza to these things. Mambo haya. I'm not uh, so I'm not good in things but uh, we are I'm just depending upon the Lord. Uh, so kwamba mimi ni mzuri sana kwenye mambo hayo lakini yote ni kwa neema ya Mungu. Your, your prayer will make everything run well. Maombi yenu yatafanya kila kitu kiende sawa. Amen. Amen. On this one. Katika jambo hili we want to see what a man, a husband and a wife how they should behave in the home katika jambo hili when a circumstance arises katika jambo hili tunataka kuona jinsi ambavyo mume au mke wanavyoweza kutenda wakati ambapo mazingira fulani yanajitokeza or when they are faced with a challenge in the home ama wanapokutana na changamoto nyumbani amen here we are reading that the one it is not abraham who who went to sarah that you see you are not having children let me take your hand hapa tunaona kwamba sio abraham ambaye alimwendea mkewe sara akamwambia kwamba bwana wewe mimi naona upati watoto basi ngoja nimchukue ajiri no hapana are you getting that nalipata i know some men najua baadhi ya wanaume they do that when they see that a wife is not conceiving hatred begins wanaume wengine wakiona mke ashiki mimba chuki inaanza and some of them that is the beginning of their backsliding na baadhi yao huo ndio mwanzo wa kurudi nyuma he can even run away from one church to another in order for him to go and marry in that church anaweza akaanza kutoroka kutoka kanisa moja hadi jingine ili kiwezekana aende kanisa jingine akaoe huko but remember lakini kumbuka wherever you go Kokote utakaa kwa unless you say you are running away unless if you say this heaven and the earth was created by two gods uh, kokote utakaa kwenda labda kama useme kwamba hizi mbingu na nchi ziliungwa na miungu wawili tofauti so that you can run from this god and compromise with yana ili kwamba umtoroke mungu huyu ukaelewane na mwingine but if it is the same god who is here lakini kama ni mungu yule yule aliyeko hapa and the same god who is in the church in segerea na mungu yule yule aliyeko kwenye kanisa la segerea whether that pastor receives you hata yule mchungaji akikupokea god has not received you mungu hajakupokea there are some things that you do that you can convince us until we forgive you kwa baadhi ya mambo unaweza ukafanya mpaka ukatushawishi kwamba tukakusamehe but remember lakini kwa god Mungu is the main one to forgive you. Mungu ndiye aliyemkuu zaidi wa kukusamehe. So Sarah said, I you have seen that I don't have children. Can you take Aga? 
Sasa Sara akasema, "Unaona mimi sina watoto, mchukue haki." So that uh, I can raise children out of her. Ili mimi niweze kulea watoto wanaotoka kwake. And the Bible says Abraham listened to Sarah. Biblia inasema Abraham akamsikiliza Sara. But according to the message of the hour, lakini kulingana na ujumbe wa saa, it is not written here but according to the message of the hour. Haikuandikwa hapo lakini kulingana na ujumbe wa saa, the prophet said, Nabii anasema, when Abraham refused wakati Abraham alipokataa here in the bible it is, it is not showing that kwa kwa Biblia, hakuna mahali panaonyesha kwamba alikataa when Abraham refused Abraham alipokataa god said mungu akasema listen to your wife mungu ndiye akasema msikilize mkeo are you getting that <laughs> now listen sasa sikilize now when is aga conceived sasa wakati ajili aliposhika ujauzito she despised her mistress akamdharau uh, mlezi wake eh she is now conceived sasa her mistress has no is is old is useless sasa anamuona kwamba huyu bosi wake hana lolote hana faida then when sara saw that sasa sara alipoliona hilo sara did not go to quarrel with it. Haka Sara hakwenda kuanzisha ugomvi na, na Hajiri. Haka was not a match to Sara. Yaani Hajiri hakuwa size, hakuwa hakuwa size ya ya Sara. You can quarrel with a person who you are matching with. Unaweza kugombana na mtu ambaye mko level moja. But Haka and Sara. Lakini Hajiri na Sara. Sara was a match to Abraham. Ha, Sara alikuwa ni level moja na Abraham. So you need to go to fight to to quarrel with it. someone who um, um, can mushi can quarrel with. Akaenda kwenda kupambana na mtu ambaye wanaweza waka wakagombana naye. I have put all my wrongs upon you. Akasema nini? I have put all my wrongs. Nimeweka vitu vyangu vyote juu yako. Kila yeah. kitu changu. All my wrongs. Ah, ma, ma, wrong tao, wrong. Yes, nimeweka makosa yangu yote kwako. Upon your feet. Niguni mwako. So that God can be a judge between you and me. Ili Mungu aweze kutuamua mimi na wewe. <laughs> can you see? Unaweza kuona? Who started a confusion? Ni nani alianza hii hali ya kumchanganya? It is Sarah. Ni Sarah. Who went to Abraham to to bring that confusion? Ni yeye alienda kwa Abraham kuleta hii confusion. It is Sarah. Ni Sarah. And then the same one was in the wrong. Alafu yule yule ambaye ndiye alikuwa makosani, she said the Bible says she took all her wrong. Biblia inasema akakusanya makosa yake yote. And say all my wrongs. Akasema makosa yangu yote are not upon me. Sio hayako juu yangu. Put them upon yourself. Na kuwekea wewe miguu. Now let us call God. Sasa nimeshakuwekea, hebu tumuite Mungu. Who judge between you and me? Mungu aje sasa hukumu kati yako na mimi. <laughs> Sarah was very clever. Sara alikuwa mjanja sana. She has already transferred the wrongs. Tayari ameshachukua makosa ameahamishia kwa Abraham. Then she is calling God to come and judge. Anaita Mungu wakati makosa ameshampa mwenzie aje hukumu. <laughs> Who will be found at fault? Sasa ni nani angepatikana na hatia? It will be Abraham. Ingekuwa Abraham. Are you get that? Unalipata? All right. <laughs> Now what are we learning on this? Sasa tunajifunza nini hapo? Look. Tazama. And Abraham, na Abraham, told Sarah. Akamwambia Sara. Look. Tazama. This hand made. Huyu mjakazi is in your hands. Yuko mikononi mwako. Do everything that you can do upon her. Mfanyie chochote unachotaka kumfanyia. And the Bible say, say, says Biblia inasema Sara dealt with ya hadi Sara alimshughulikia kweli kweli until she ran away. Paka akatimka. 
But why didn't Abraham come to intervene? Lakini kwa nini Abraham hakuja kuamulia? And say you Sarah, aseme wewe Sarah I think you have got a spirit of confusion. Mimi nadhani wewe una roho ya 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 kuchanganyikiwa. Let me call the headman of this place. Hebu ngoja niite mzee wa eneo hili. We we have a meeting. Tufanye mkutano so that they can judge you. Waweze kuhukumu. You are a wrong woman. Sasa wewe you came to me. Wewe ni mwanamke matatizo. Wewe ndio uliyenijia. Is that I should marry this one? Kwamba ni muoe huyu. And today leo hii you say it is me. Leo hii unani unani unadai ni mimi. Can you see? Unaweza mko. And this is what so many men do in their homes. Na haya ndio mambo ambayo wanaume wengi sana wanafanya majumbani mwao. If you go into the book of Proverbs, kama ukienda katika kitabu cha Mitani, which we will read if, if we have time, kama tungekuwa na muda, it says, kinasema, a woman has got charge over all that dwells in her house. Hiyo kitabu cha Mitani kinasema mwanamke ana mamlaka juu ya vyote vilivyoko nyumbani mwake For instance kwa mfano When brother Kamani has a certain sister in the house Ndugu Kamani tuseme ana dada fulani pale nyumbani kwake And then the sister becomes suspicious Alafu mke wake dada huyo awe na mashaka naye jealous au awe na wivu Whether there is no nothing wrong that the brothers ha, hata kama hakuna kitu chochote ambacho ndugu amefanya. If she says I want this one to go. Huyu dada akisema huyu nataka aondoke hapa. You should not stand in the way. Usikae katikati. You are going to be caught as a crook. You you you, you be caught as a crook. Wewe ndiwe utakayeonekana ni muhuni. The sister says go then you say no. Dada anasema ondoka wewe unasema hapa. We we are Christians. Sisi ni wa Kristo. We should help her. Tumsaidie. Ah uh, ah. Uh. Helping what? Usaidie nini? There is only me to help. Ni mimi tu wa kusaidiwa. This one go. Huyu wacha aende. <laughs> A man mwanaume has got no power hana nguvu mamlaka over those that are in the house mwanaume hana mamlaka juu ya wale wanaokaa nyumbani mwake when you see a man standing and defending too much okay. those that are in the house mwanaume anasimama na anawakinga sana wale walio hapo nyumbani against the wife kinyume na mke wake just know that there is something wrong ujue ya kwamba kuna jambo kazoro sarah abram said mm mm-hmm. And yet Sara Abraham alisema eh and yet Hagar was young and beautiful. Na hata hivyo Hajiri alikuwa bado ni yeye ni msichana na ni mrembo. And Sara was old. Sara alikuwa amekongoroka. By that time she was not changed she was not yet beautiful. Wakati ule bado alikuwa hajabadilishwa alikuwa sio mrembo. There was a time when she became beautiful but na this ba- time baadaye alijakuwa kuwa mrembo lakini like she was kipindi, old. Kipindi hiki alikuwa amekongoroka with wrinkles na makunyani ya put all my wrongs upon you Abraham akamwambia nimemweka huyo mikononi mwako Are you getting it Nimeweka makosa yote miguuni mwako huyo mbibi huyo nimeweka makosa yote miguuni mwako So oh what we I want you to learn on this one Kwa kitu ambacho nataka tujifunze kwenye hili brothers nyinyi wanaume there is a certain Nuhu. freedom that also your wives have in your home kuna kiwango fulani cha uhuru ambacho mke wako anapaswa kuwa nacho nyumbani kwako she has a freedom ana uhuru if you cannot uh, excuse her to have that freedom kama uwezi kumruhusu awe na uhuru huo then it will backfire on yourself you even you yourself you will have no better freedom in your house mambo yatakufikia yani yatakulipikia mwenyewe hata we mwenyewe utakosa uhuru nyumbani mwako mwenyewe are you getting that mnalipata are you following what i'm saying hivi mnafuatilia hicho ninachosema baba mkabidhiwa rudi kali 
Okay. I believe all of us we are listening. Let me quote also somewhere we are up, where in the message of the prophet. 640121. Yes. 640121. Amen. 640121. Again, one, 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 he says, Anasem. I was in Colorado, Colorado not long ago. Colorado, so mrefu, this last four. Uh, yes. I, I go up there on a hunting trip. And as, as usually, I am up there on my wedding anniversary. Na kwa kawaida mimi huenda kule katika wakati wa kumbukizi la ndoa yangu. When wife and I got married. Wakati mke wangu nilipomwoa, I had saved all my nickels and the things. And nimehifadhi vidi fedha vyangu kidogo na vitu kama hivyo and from my work and kutoka kazi ni mwangu them in in a baking a, a powder can na kwenye makopo yale ya kuwekea hamira i didn't have enough to take a, a honeymoon sikuwa na pesa za kutosha kuweza kumpeleka kwenye fungati and i go hunting so i just kwa hivyo naenda kuwinda kwa hiyo ni i blended them together tunika tukaenda pamoja i took her on a honey Nika mchukua kwenye safari ya kuwinda kwa ajili ya fungate So na, so, so since then I have to, uh, I have to my shame I have never been home with her on our anniversary uh, Kwa hivyo tangu wakati huo eh, kwa, kwa kweli nijione haibu sija, endanae, sija wanae nyumbani Eh, katika eh, kumbukizi la uh, usiku wetu wa kuoana. Are you getting that? Yeah. Okay. Why have I quoted this? Kwa nini nimenukuu hii? It is the example from our own prophet. Ni mfano au kielelezo kutoka kwa nabii wetu wenyewe. The good part of the prophet he was not just the the preacher man of the word but he was acting upon what he was preaching. Sehemu nzuri au jambo moja zuri kwa nabii ni kwamba alikuwa haubiri tu neno lakini pia alikuwa akinifanya lile analolihubiri. If he's telling you to love kama akikwambia umpende mke wako, he did. Yeye alifanya. And he was making sure that the wife would know that this man is concerned about me. Na alikuwa anafanya kila liwezekanalo ili mkewe ajue ya kwamba huyu mtu ananijali, huyu mume ananijali taking her to the honeymoon kumpeleka kwenye honeymoon yani fungati eh? to make her happy ili kumfanya awe mwenye furaha eh, there is a big problem of a lot of us brothers lakini kuna tatizo kubwa la wengi wetu sisi ndugu you just got up on the wedding day Mnakuwa mlikuwa na furaha siku ya ndo harusi tu. And you made her happy just on the wedding uli, uli, uli mfurahisha siku ya harusi tu. Immediately you entered into the home. Mara tu mlipoingia nyumbani. All the happiness went. Furaha yote iliishia. She can't be happy. Hawezi tena kufurahi. 
the dress that she came with is from the, uh, her mother's home. Yeah, those are the dresses she's putting on. Magauni alilo alio toka nayo kwa wazazi wake ndio hayo hayo anaendelea nayo. A real man is ashamed to see the old clothes. Mwanaume halisi anapata anaibika akiona nguo mkewe na nguo za zamani. The clothes that came from the mother is the clothes that I should be seeing in my home. Nguo alizotoka nazo kwa mama yake ndizo nguo ambazo mimi niendelee kuziona nyumbani kwangu. Showing that I'm weak and useless. Kuonyesha ya kwamba mimi ni 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 dhaifu na wa hofu. You are even saying she is looking nice. Is it you bought it? Hata eti unamsifia kwamba umependeza. Ni wewe umezinunua. The prophet said when the family is coming to church, let the family is come to church when they are all happy. Nabii anasema familia inapokuja kanisani hebu familia yote na ije wakiwa wote wenye furaha Let the woman be proud of how only has been Hebu mke aweze kujivunia mumewe That is when you can see the wisdom in your own wife Hapo ndio utaweza kubaini hekima iliyofichika ndani ya mke wako Now if you ignore everything about your wife. Sasa kama wewe unapuuza kila kitu cha mke wako. And you just keep her like one of the assets in, in your house. Mpaka like mpaka unamfanya kuwa kama moja wapo ya ya mali zako katika nyumba yani kama kochi. Hmm? A woman is not supposed to be like a chair. Mwanamke sio kama kama kitu. The Bible says she is the help mate. Biblia inasema ni msaidizi. Your wife is more than a maid. Mke wako ni zaidi ya mjakazi. Help me. Help help me. Msaidizi. But you find that a maid in your house you are paying a 50 which is what? Which is what? I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I'm seeing per month you pay. Unaona kwamba unamfanya kazi nyumbani unamlipa 1500 kwa mwezi. Then you it, it comes down to your wife. Sasa ikifika kwa mke wako. She doesn't receive even her own money. Hapati hata pesa yake mwenyewe yoyote. No. Hapana. The money she received is for relish. Pesa anayopata ni ya mboga. For food. Kwa ajili ya chakula. For soap. Kwa sabuni and so forth. Na vitu kama hivi. What about her own money? Yeye yeah, yeah, pesa yake binafsi vipi kuhusu She should have her own money that if she wants to pay a uh, offering to church she should take her own money to go and pay. Inabidi awe na pesa zake mwenyewe ili hata kama anataka kulipa zaka kanisani aende alipe zaka yake mwenyewe. If she wants to help someone she should help out of her own money. Akitaka kumsaidia mtu awe na uhuru wa kumsaidia kwa pesa yake mwenyewe. Don't make your wife like a slave. Usimfanye mkeo kama mtumwa. Ever since you married her, she has even stopped laughing. Because if, if a woman stops laughing, she becomes a, she becomes angry. Unasikia? Tangu ulipomuoa, kicheko kilishia hapo acheki tena. Na mtu anapokuwa amekoma kucheka, lazima aonekane mbaya. Because the face will not be straight. The lips, sababu, the lips will not be straight. Kwa sababu uso utakuwa hauji hauchangui by happiness and when she and when she tries to laugh she is ashamed because she laughed maybe one year ago akitaka kucheka hata anaona aibu anaacha kucheka kwa sababu alicheka mara ya mwisho mwaka juzi mwaka mmoja uliopita then she will say <laughs> Because at home they don't laugh when they are two. Kwa sababu nyumbani hawacheki. Wakiwa wawili hawacheki. Blessed be the name of 
Jina la Bwana libariki. So can you see? Kwa hivyo mnaona The prophet was making the wife to feel love. Nabii alikuwa anamfanya mkewe ajisikie kwamba anapenda. How you get that? Mnalipata hiyo? To feel love. Ajisikie anapenda. A woman should have her own expression in the home. Mwanamke anapaswa awe na eh, onyesho lake mwenyewe nyumbani, yani namna ya kujieleza, kujieleza kwake au kujionyesha kwake nyumbani. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. Now. Sasa. Um, sometimes wakati mwingine there are some things that causes that kuna baadhi ya mambo yanayosababisha hayo I want these things to be understood nataka haya mambo yaeleweke Wedding ceremony. ceremony. Now, that's um, Here the prophet said, Dearly, Apa, dearly beloved, eh, wapendwa, we have gathered here in the face of this company. Tumekusanyika hapa mbele ya mkusanyiko huu. In the presence of God. Uweponi pamoja. To join together in the holy matrimony. Kuunganisha pamoja katika ndoa takatifu. This man and Ma, this woman. Manaume huyu na mwanamke huyu. Which is honorable. Ambalo ni jambo la heshima. As declared by Saint Paul among all men. Kama lilivyo tangazwa na mtakatifu Paulo mio, uh, kat, is, miongoni mwa watu wote. It is therefore not by any to be entered into any advisable or lighted. Kwa hivyo ni jambo ambalo halipaswi kuingiwa na mtu yoyote bila kushauriwa au kwa wepesi wepesi. But reverend, bali kwa kichwa descriptively eh kwa katika utimamu advisable kwa kwa kushauriwa okay sorry especially sorry. when i come to the advice before you enter into marriage that is the problem. sasa tatizo liko hapa ni wakati gani ambapo unaenda kushauriwa kabla ya kuingia kwenye ndoa that's why hiyo ndio sababu because of this problem kwa sababu ya matatizo haya sometimes i take two weeks one wakati week, mwingine nachukua wiki moja au wiki mbili teaching this that are entering into marriage kuwafundisha wale wanaoingia katika ndoa so that ili kwamba they know wajue what they are entering in wanaingia kwenye kitu gani because kwa sababu a human being is not an animal Mwanadamu sio sio mnyama. She is bringing the life which does not belong to her or his. Analeta uzima ambao sio wa kwake. It is for God. Ni kwa ajili ya Mungu. So one should be advised. Kwa hivyo mtu anapaswa ashauriwe. Because Sababu. it is very 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 dangerous. Ni hatari sana. If a husband and a wife they are not well advised. Ni hatari sana kama mume na mke hawakushauriwa vizuri. Look, tazama. It will be very difficult they will be hindering each other from receiving the Holy Spirit. Itakuwa shida kwa sababu hata watazuiana mmoja kwa mwingine kupokea roho takatifu. What will happen is this? One if a man thinks he is a boss he will be too much boss. Ilivyo ni hivi 
kama huyo mwanaume mawazoni mwake anawazia kwamba ye mle ni bosi sasa atakuwa bosi zaidi if a woman says mm, me i am more in the house kama mke, she will think lower kama mke naye alikuwa ameingia na mawazo kwamba mimi ni, ni, ni kitu cha chini kwenye nyumba sasa atazama chini kabisa atatumbukia moja kwa moja and like that in the home things are not balanced na katika nyumba kama mambo hayakuwekewa uwiano because each one in the home should enjoy kwa sababu nyumbani kila mmoja anapaswa apafurahie and again you should do away with the spirit of your nation na kisha inawapasa kujiepusha na roho za taifa lenu there are some families that can not even they have got that stingy life that can not take money and give it to the wife or go with the wife in the town kuna baadhi ya watu ni wachoyo hawezi kumpa mkewe pesa au hata mchukue mkewe waende naye mjini they they walk to the wife walitembea na mke at the beginning mpale mwanzo naweza nikufuate she is ashamed anaona hii ah no no hapana hapana baki no i'm just going to kariako naenda tu kariako ah even me i wanted to ah but from kariako i will go somewhere else hata mi, hata mimi nilitaka hapana ah, baada ya kariako kuna mahali pengine naenda It is like this man didn't know what he, what he was doing when he was married. Ni kana kwamba huyu mtu alikuwa hajui anachofanya wakati alipokuwa nao. After marrying everything has changed. It is like now he has married a nyao. Baada ya kuoa mambo yote yamebadilika ni kama kwamba ameoa paka. Everything has become opposite. Kila kitu kimekuwa kinyume in the home no one can greet the other nyumbani hakuna naye msalimia mwenzake this one is like waking up going this way huyu mmoja anaamka kitandani some they don't even say karibu karibu mezani you husband they just when they see food on the table no one can say karibu mezani they just rise up on themselves and go and eat wengine hata hawezi kukaribishwa karibu kumwambia mtu karibu mezani ananyanyuka tu na kwenda mezani na kuanza kufakamia You will eat poison. Mtakuja kula sumu. Listen to the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Are you getting that? Mnalipata hilo? Now, we Nasa. go back to a woman. Tunarudi kwa mwanamke. A woman mwanamke is a weaker vessel ni chombo dhaifu yeah. okay. let us go somewhere and you who claim to be a son of god ninyi ambao mnadai kuwa wewe ambaye unadai kuwa mwana wa Mungu where is your principles mi ina ni kanuni zako ziko wapi if the woman ain't out of her place kama mwanamke hayupo uh, mahali nje ya mahali pale in other words if your woman is out of her place yani kama ni kwa maneno mengine kama mkeo yuko mahali yuko nje ya mahali pake are you not the son of god yeah Uni wewe si mwana wa Mungu. Are you not eh, 
are you uh, not are you not the one that is a higher stronger vessel yeah si kwamba wewe ndiwe ulieko juu na wewe ni chombo imara zaidi as the bible says she is weaker kama biblia ilivyosema ya kwamba yeye ni dhaifu then if she is weaker sasa kama yeye ni dhaifu then show yourself a man of god basi kama yeye ni dhaifu onyesha we mwenyewe basi kuwa we ni mwanaume ni wa Mungu tell her say sister mwambie dada you, you are in a wrong umekosea that is right hilo ni sawa i i have done it and the other christians have done it nimefanya hilo na wakristo wengine wamefanya pia and you always do it as long as you are a christian na utafanya tu hivyo madam tu wewe ni mkristo but show yourself you are a son of god lakini jionyeshe kwamba wewe ni mwana wa mungu you have more power over yourself than the woman does una nguvu juu yako mwenyewe kuliko alionayo mwanamke if she is weak kama yeye ni dhaifu recognize to her weakness kama yeye ni dhaifu basi tambua udhaifu understand her mistake elewa makosa yake and things like that na mambo kama hayo or try to correct her au au jaribu kumsaidisha sister useme dada we are christian sisi ni wakristo we wouldn't do that atungepaswa kufanya hivyo be a real man uwe mwanaume halisi be a son of god uwe mwana wa mungu are you getting that mnalipata hilo these are the things that we are missing in homes haya ndio mambo ambayo tunayakosa majumbani when your wife makes a mistake mkeo akifanya kosa mama 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 <laughs> I don't know what kind of a woman are you. Sijui wewe ni mwanamke wa aina gani. You are making me confused. Unanichanganya. Ah. Are you a son of God? Wewe ni mwana wa Mungu kweli. My wife is there. Mke wangu yuko hapa. When something has gone wrong. Wakati jambo fulani limeenda mrama. I look at ya. Nitamtazama. There is only one point where I can catch ya. Na kuna mahali pamoja tu ambapo naweza kumkamata. At night when I want to wake up to pray. Kama eh, wakati at night usiku unapoamka kwenda kuomba, I say my wife, nasema mke wangu, wake up we pray but before we pray now. But you are out. Amka tu amka tu amka twende kuomba. Lakini kabla hatujaomba, hivi mambo yakoje? Why was it I like? Mbona ilikuwa vile? We will see it explaining crying until we make things right. Alafu anaanza sasa. Okay. Let us now go and pray. Paka tunaweka mambo sawa. Ndio sasa tunaenda kuomba. Then we pray. Alafu tunaomba. Now you sasa wewe. Who have a difference with your wife the whole night? Another we, night, another night. Are you a Christian? Wewe ambaye unadumisha mgogoro na mkeo usiku mmoja, usiku mwingine, usiku unaofuata. Wewe ni Mkristo kweli? Oh what you differed with you you are just adding that difference of last week another difference you you do as if it is God another difference comes you can't even go and reconcile well yani mliko tofautiana la wiki iliyopita unaongezea na la juzi na lingine na hili na hili yani hauwezi kweli kuyapata kuyarekebisha hayo the prophet said be Nabii anasema uwe mwana wa Mungu. She is a weak vessel. Yeye ni chombo dhaifu. Koa my sister. Muite dada yangu. We should be living like this. Atupasu kutenda na mimi. And you also understand when your husband na nini pleading with you? Na ninyi pia waeleweni waume zenu wakati wanapowasihi because that is where the secret of christianity is kwa sababu hapo ndipo siri ya ukristo iliko and god himself says to his own church na mungu mwenyewe analiambia kanisa lake mwenyewe come jo let us reason together jo ni tuja tu, tuzungumze this is god who is offended huyu ni mungu mungu ndio kaudhiwa but is speaking to a church which is in a wrong alafu anaongea na kanisa ambalo liko makosani come and let us reason together njoo tuhojiane 
even if your sins are as red as his carrot they will be as white as whatever only that come we reason it alright it is not a good thing to 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 just do what to do everything that you want to do and forget about you with the wrong or the weakness of your wife ukwamba una unatekeleza wajibu mwingine wote alafu unasahau kuhusu udhaifu wa mke wako blessed be the name of the lord jina la bwana libariki yes naam let us come to this hebu tuje kwenye hili to the responsibilities kwenye majukumu au wajibu each one in, your, in the house has got a responsibility to do kila mtu nyumbani ana wajibu wa kufanya a woman has got her own responsibility in the home mke ana wajibu wake mwenyewe nyumbani and also a husband na pia mimi the responsibility of a woman wajibu wake okay. is to see to it ni ku is to is to see to it that okay okay sawa ni kuhakikisha kwamba uh-huh. that you know they have seen the, some some other women they, they don't even mind whether the clothes of the husband is not clean eh nimeona baadhi ya wanawake hawajali kama nguo za mmewe ni chafu wengine wanasema bana nimechoka hata we mwenyewe unaweza kufua they don't know how to press them. you find the man is just wearing things as if the things have come from the mouth of the cow Hawajui kupiga basi. Unakuta mmewe anavaa nguo utafiki kwamba zimetoka zimetafunwa na ngombe. A woman is supposed to be proud of the way the husband is appearing. Ehe. Mke anapaswa aweze kujivunia namna mumewe anavyotokelezea. She can even say eh, 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 the way you are appearing like mm-mm. Anaweza hata kusema ah namna hii unavyoonekana hapana. Because she is proud also of her own husband. Kwa sababu yeye anajivunia pia mme wake. Not ah. when, when people say who, who, who is your husband. Sio mpa, watu wakiuliza eh mme wako ni yuki. She is even telling to point well. Hata ana kidole kina anashindwa kuelekeza vizuri. <laughs> <laughs> the same with a man. Vivyo hivyo kwa mume. Kwa mwanaume. You don't make your wife look nice. Kama huwezi kumfanya mke wako apendeze. Where is your wife? Wakikuliza mke wako yuko wapi? She can't even say let me take my wife to the pastor. Oh pastor, Kila here is my wife. We want to greet you. Hata uh, ujasiri. He knows that he, he doesn't care for her. Ha, hata hana ujasiri wa kusema hebu nimchukue mke wangu twende tukamsalimie mchungaji anajua hajali are you get that unalipata be proud mjivunie oh, you know i'm not trying to say no eh, because some people when they have got if they fail to do to perform they begin now to accuse the pastor like, no this, it is like this is the church of the rich people we, we can't afford what they are teaching no no baadhi ya watu sasa wakishashindwa kufanya wajibu wao wanaanza sasa kumtuhumu mchungaji wazaa oh hii kanisa bwana inaonekana ni watu matajiri sisi wengine hatuyawezi There is nothing like that Hakuna kitu kama hiki We have cheap things in the town Tuna vitu tuna vitu rahisi si mjini There is this Kariako Tuna Kariako And another place this side of Tandika Eh Salaula is very beautiful for this eh, and kuna, cheap 
kuna kuna karia koo sawa alafu lakini kuna vingine vyatandika tandika vinaitwa sagula sagula na ni rahisi bei rahisi now i'm going to show you sasa nitawaonyesha this thing that i'm putting on hiki kitu nilichomba ni zambia zambia it is tandika tandika hili nime hili limenunuliwa tandika ya sagula sagula hii ndio can you know so, utaweza kujua utajua eh and you are there even you admire hata huko pale unashanga hii ni sagula sagula hii ni sagula sagula hata mnalitamani are you getting it mnalipata so that is just an excuse sasa hiyo ni udhuru tu you can make your wife happy unaweza kumfanya mkeo afurahi you can make her dress well unaweza kumfanya vae vizuri until she is satisfied mpaka aridhike and that alone when a woman knows that my husband is my father eh, is eh. my brother yeah. na hilo peke yake ukifanikiwa kumfanya mke aone ya kwamba mume wangu ni baba yangu mume wangu my brother mume wangu ni baba yangu na mume wangu ni ndugu ah You are going to see that that woman will become your mother. Utashangaa kwamba huyo mwanamke huyo mke tena naye atageuka kuwa mama yako. She will care for you. Atakujali. And when a woman loves, na nawaambia mwanamke mwanamke akipenda, they love more than a man. Wanapenda kuliko mwanaume. They love with they mm, they love a woman can me. She can die. Mwanamke anaweza kupenda mpaka afe. And you don't confuse her when she loves you she has loved you. That's why they become depressed. Na wao wao akikupenda amekupenda. Hiyo ndio sababu wanapata msongo. Are you following that? Nalielewa hili. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Yes. Them. Okay. Them. Hiyo line hapo mnaweza mkanalika na. Kama mvua inawasumbua. Now we are in Malaka. Sasa tumehamia kwenye Malaki. Malaka chapter 2. Malaki sura ya 2. Huko nyuma si speaker zinafanya kazi mnasikia? Okay. Okay, Malaka chapter 2 verse 13. Malaki sura ya pili mstari wa 13. You read brother. Ah, uh, ngoja ni nasoma mimi. Um verse 13. Uh, and this have then, you done. Okay. Tena mnatenda haya nayo covering the altar of the Lord with tears. Mnaifunikiza mna Mnaifunikiza madhabahu ya Bwana kwa machozi with weeping and with crying out kwa kulia na ku, kwa kuugua in so much that he regardeth not the offering any more hata asiangalie tena hiyo dhabihu or receive it with good will at your hands wala kuitakabali mikononi mwenu na kuiridhia You say where for? Mnasema wapi? Or to say mwasema, or to say why? Mnasema ni kwa sababu gani? Because the Lord hath been witness between thee 
and thy wife of thy youth ni kwa sababu bwana amekuwa shahidi kati ya wewe na mke wa ujana wako whom thou hast dealt treacherously uliyemtenda mambo ya hiana yet is the is thy companion she is thy companion and the wife of thy covenant ingawa yeye ni mwenzako na mke wa agano lako and did he not he make one hakuna mtu hata mmoja aliyetenda hii yet is the residue of the spirit ambaye alikuwa na ufahamu kidogo and where for one that okay. he, he, he might seek a godly seed that therefore take him to your spirit let nani deal treacherously against the wife of his youth au je kama je au je kuna mtu mmoja atafutaye mzao mwenye kumcha Mungu kwa hiyo jihadharini roho zenu mtu wa wewe yote asimtende mke wa ujana wake mambo ya riana for the lord the god of israel says that he hated putting away maana mimi nakuchukia kuachana asema bwana Mungu wa Israeli na uh, okay yeah. naye aifunikiza so the, the point there on top there if you are a believer listen if you are a believer kama wewe ni mwaminio he said this Akisema. have you done again covering the altar of the lord with tears with weeping eh uh, tena mnatenda haya haya nayo mnaifunikiza madhabahu ya bwana kwa machozi in other words kwa maneno mengine you know how you treat your wife unajua jinsi unavyomtendea mkeo in a bad way kwa namna mbaya kwa hiyo She is not happy with you. Hana furaha na wewe. If sisters here can be pointed out to them, if they can we can say be honest to God. <laughs> how many are not happy with what how, with what the husband are treating them? They are here they can raise up their hands. Yaani kama kwa mfano mge mge tuulize tu hapa na buwe muaminifu mioyoni mwenu kabisa kwamba tuwaambie muinue mikono. Ni wangapi hapa ambao wafurahiwa umezao wanao watendea? Alafu muinue mikono hapo. I know those that don't keep their wives well their hearts are now doing this. Najua wale ambao hawatendei wake, wake zao vema saa hizi mioyo yao inatikisa mashati. <laughs> Now it is good that it is me talking who has come from Zambia. Sasa ni afadhali ni mimi ninayeongea niliyetoka zangu Zambia and I don't know your names. Miss I don't know where you are coming from. Sijui majina yenu wala mnatoka wapi. The better. Better. Eh? Ni vizuri zaidi. I'm not I'm, I'm, I don't know you. Mimi si wajui. I'm speaking. Lakini mimi naongea. The Bible says you come here crying, weeping. It meaning that you are you come here to pray with all your heart but you don't you are you are not keeping your wife well. God is not receiving your prayer. Hiyo ni kusema unakuja hapa unaomba Unamwaga na machozi alafu nyumbani haumtendei mkeo sawa sawa. Mungu hata sikia maombi yako. You reach home you say. Unarudi nyumbani unasema. When a sister asked dada anapokuuliza. Just because the pastor preached about it. Dada akiuliza chochote unasema eh ni kwa sababu mchungaji alihubiri. You know a devil is a devil. Unajua devil is devil. A devil is a devil. Unajua pepo ni pepo. If someone is possessed with demons. Kama mtu amepagawa na mapepo. Whatever you can say. Chochote utakachosema. It will not change them. Halimbadilishi. But one thing the devil will not stop them from coming here. Kitu ambacho shetani hata wazuia ni waendelee ni kuendelea kuja hapa. They will be coming just like you heard the message in the morning that the devil watakuja tu kama mlivyosikia ujumbe asubuhi kwamba shetani we make you shetani. think you are a christian why wow, not shetani atakufanya wewe ufikirie wewe ni mkristo wakati sio if you are a believer of this message kama wewe ni mwadhiri wa ujumbe huu take everything that the prophet did chukua kila kitu ambacho nabii alifanya 
Remember I have quoted some of these things. Kumbuka nimenukuu baadhi ya mambo haya. I'm not just speaking. Siongei tu. It is the word of God. Ni neno la Mungu. And na let me sh- say this. A believer does not even threaten a wife. Muaminio hata hamtishii mke wake. Mimi ake ni divorce you. Wewe mimi naweza nikakuacha. Oh, if it was not the word of God I was going to divorce you a long time ago. Kama sio neno la Mungu wewe ningeshakupa talaka siku hii. According to the word of God you have already divorced. Kuligana na neno la Mungu wewe ushamtaliki. There is no way I can tell my wife even if she has pained me to say I, I, I can divorce you. Hakuna namna yote ambayo naweza nikamwambia mke wake hata kama limeniuma kiasi gani kumwambia wewe naweza nikaku There are some things that has happened in the home that pained me. I have never even done this at you. You you. Kuna baadhi ya mambo ambayo yameshaniumiza sana lakini sijawahi kusubutu hata kumfanyia hivi wewe wewe. Sijafanya hivi. Because what is the sign of that? Kwa sababu nini ishara ya hiyo ni nini? Hiyo ni ishara gani? According to the law kulingana na sheria that is an assault hilo ni tusi they can jail you wanaweza kukutia ndani because it means you wanted to do a lot of things now you have ended your mission you maraka ni kwamba ulitaka ufanye mambo mengi sana ila basi tu <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. That hilo you shouldn't be able like that with your wife. Upasi ufanye hivyo kwa mke. To scare her to be divorced you shouldn't go to kumtishia kumwacha na mambo kama hayo. Just sit down and reconcile. Ketini chini mpatane. Is that right? Yeah, it will give you chance to kneel down to pray itawapeni na furusa ya kupiga magoti muombe and then the lord will hear you alafu mungu atawasikia now sasa let us see and check the role of a, a man in the home Hebu. first number one, the role the, the responsibility of the wife let me pass there hebu tuangalie tu wajibu wa mke hebu napo nipite hapo She should, she should make sure that anapaswa huyo mke anapaswa ahakikishe kwamba the children watoto because the husband is not there kwa sababu mume hayupo remember when the when uh, mida differed with the prophet kumbuka wakati meda alipotofautiana na nabii joseph did something wrong joseph alikuwa amefanya kosa And then Mida reported Joseph to Brabrenam that Al- he should weep Joseph. Mida akamshtaki Joseph kwa ndugu Branham kwamba anapaswa amtandike. And Joseph knew the weakness of the dad. Na sasa Joseph alikuwa anajua udhaifu wa baba yake. When did I when Joseph what have you done? Sema. Joseph umefanya nini? Daddy. Baba, baba. Forgive me. Baba nisamehe. Sisi sitafanya tena. Okay, don't it. Wewe Then Mida. Kwa hiyo Mida, when she saw that, alipoliona hilo. <laughs> I have told you to weep and you can't. Nimekuambia umtandike alafu uwe. My my wife. No. Pum. Pum. Akabaniza mlango. And then that. Akaingia. Sat on the machine. Akaketi kwenye machine akaanza kushona. How can you start going? Unawezaje kuanza kushona when you have offended your, your husband wakati umemudhi mmeo afu uko kwenye machine kwenye tere ya God spoke to the prophet Mungu akamwambia nabii Go and read in the book of Numbers so 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 Nenda kasome kwenye kitabu cha Hesabu where where sura Miriam was cursed a mahali ambapo Miriam alilaaniwa eh, When the prophet said that Bia aliposikia hilo 
sisi my lord bwana wangu sisi my my wife mke wangu mke wangu odi the lord i want you to hear what the lord has said bwana nataka usikie bwana i see you that it is he speaks like that the lord for sure has spoken to him na mkewe alijua ya kwamba kama akisema hivyo kweli bwana amesema kitu akafungua akafungua mlango my wife akamwambia mke wangu love done wrong umefanya makosa you know jan jan we and they went so unajua 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 wakaendelea kuongea then the prophet was pleading for the wife this is the point i want to raise ndipo hasa baada ya hapo nabii akawa anamuombea msamaha mke wake kwamba bwana may you forgive my wife um hebu msamee mke wangu she is so faithful yeye ni mwaminifu when am awe mimi nikiwa sipo she is the one who teaches my children yeye anayefundishia watoto are you following that unafuatilia gani mida had the responsibility at Mida, home mida alikuwa na wajibu pale nyumbani not to let children just be running about like like animals sio kuacha tu watoto akimbie kimbie kama wanyama but to teach them lakini kuwafundisha to love the lord kwa pende bwana that is the responsibility of the mother hilo ndio huo ni wajibu wa mama like the mother of wesley who was had 19 children kama mama yake wesley ambaye alikuwa na watoto 19 every day was taking one hour to pray for lakini them. kila siku alikuwa anachukua saa nzima kuwaombea but you find the mothers we have today they are too lazy lakini unakuta wa mama tulio nao ni wavivu kweli kweli they cannot even take a child when the child is going to school that my child let us pray hawezi hata kuchukua to school. mtoto anaenda shule wamuombea na no. They Apa. just pack lunch box wanamkusanyia tu vyakula. You go. Nenda. Na nenda you go. Nenda. As if they are pagans. Kana kwamba ni wapagani. <laughs> The prophet says a mother is supposed to even rise up a child at night. Say, my, daughter, anasema, my daughter, mama, let us kneel down and pray. Nabii anasema mama anapaswa kumhamisha mtoto wake hata usiku wa manane amwambie binti yangu inuka tuombe. That is your responsibility. Huo ni wajibu wako. Not where you have slept. Sio mahali ambapo umelala. As if you are a, 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 a hippo. Unakoroma kana kwamba wewe ni, 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 ni yule nani mnyama gani wa kwenye maji yule? Kiboko. Ni kuruku. And the saliva is running this way. Ika tu. Feeling to wake up to wake up your child to pray. Ujashindwa kumhamisha mtoto wako muombe. This is the generation that we should be protecting our children from. Hiki ni kizazi ambacho tunapaswa tuwe tunawalinda watoto wao. It's a dangerous generation. Kwa sababu ni kizazi hatari. Commit your child into the hands of the Lord. Mkabidhi mtoto wako mikononi mwa Bwana. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Are you getting that? Unalipata? Then ndipo when the daddy comes baba anaporudi you sit down unaketi you sit a mother Unaketi. sits there with the family mm, mume anaketi pale pamoja na familia uh-huh. then the mother now will start reporting sasa mama anaanza kutoa taarifa ah how have you worked today eh hey, vipi umefanya kazi vipi leo kazi kazini ilikuwaje ah very well Ah vizuri sana. But I have seen that you came sad. Lakini naona kama umerudi na wengine vile. Yes. Ah, the today it was a challenge at work. Ah leo But, kazini ilikuwa mm, changamoto. The boss. Boss is so hard on me. Ah boss leo alikuwa ah, ameniamkia ah, kweli. Ah, my husband. Ah pole sana usijali mume wangu. Ah, we will, everything will be okay. Kila kitu kitaenda. Ah, as long as one, I'm on my knees. Ili mradi tu mimi niko magotini. Ah, ah no. <laughs> Your boss bosi wako is nothing ah ana lolote but there is a boss there kuna bosi wetu who is your boss ambaye ni bosi wako now i have something to say sasa nina kitu cha kukuambia mm. eh your son mwanao is now becoming difficult nakwambia mwanao sasa hivi ameanza kuwa tatizo i tried to say don't be playing with that family he is sneaking away yani kila wakati namwambia asicheze na watoto wa familia I ile lakini kila wakati ananiteleza try to talk to your son sasa na mimi nafikiri uongee na mwanao so that maybe we, if you he can she he can hear labda inawezekana kwako wewe anaweza akasikia you report una report kesi zako let the husband know hebu acha mmeo ajue that is your way hiyo ndio kazi yako 
you know a mother it is not possible that children always hear the mothers unajua mama si watoto wote wanaweza wakamsikiliza mama they don't fear the mothers because when the child was born he was just there at the mothers in the womb and after coming out of the womb she is there watoto wakati mkia wamogopi mama kwa sababu muda wote miezi tisa walikuwa tumboni wamengangana kwenye titi from there baadaye tena kulishwa from there she is following under the skate baadaye wanafuata kila saa kwenye skate wamesikilia skate how can you fear some man sasa utamogopaje mtu wa hivyo you are following like that mtu ambaye unafuatana namna hiyo children fear the fathers watoto wanaogopa baba me even if i try to be kind to them eh, 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 eh. mimi hata yani yeye eh, hata nikijaribu kuwa mwema kwao eh. the phone of the mother simu ya mama is in trouble but simu me, ya mama iko matatizo even if i leave the phone there it lakini mimi yangu hata nikiacha it will not be touched nitaikuta pale pale haigusi But I don't whip them. Lakini hata sijiwapigi. But I don't touch it. Lakini hawagusi. But let the mother leave the phone. Mama akiacha simu. Eh, 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 my battery is finishing. Ya yeah, jamani mnanimalizia beti. Wow, wow. Can you see? Unaona? <laughs> the best thing is let the wa- woman learn where to report the cases. Jambo kubwa ni kwamba ebu wake waacheni wake wajifunze mahali pa, pa kuripoti kesi And zao when the mother is weeping a child na wakati mama anatandika mtoto let not the father be angry baba the child is listening baba asikasirike na mtoto anasikiliza you stop beating a child like that acha usipige mtoto namna hiyo the child will be a fool mtoto atakuwa mpumbavu and if a dad is beating na, na baba anapiga You you do stop beating the child like that. Ba, mama naye anakuja yeye acha kupiga mtoto hivyo. If you see that is not beating well, kama unaona kwamba hamtandiki baraba, go and speak to of you in the bed. Kama unaona hampigi vizuri, acha nenda mkaongee wenyewe chumbani. No, you don't beat your child like that. Jamani, usipige mtoto namna hiyo. Mtoto ataridhika because the child will be used. Kwa sababu mtoto huyu atazoea. I've seen that every day you are beating. Unaona kila siku unatandika tu. No, the child is not yet. Hapana, mtoto sio ngombe. Bini, all of you you also. Kwa hiyo wote mnakubaliana sawa. You know how to treat the children. Mtajua sasa namna ya kuwashughulikia watoto wetu. My wife was beating that one. Mke wangu alikuwa anataandika. When she begins to beat, she doesn't choose. Akiwa anataandika hachagui pa kukongoza. Then I called her. Nikamuita. Na to you be jailed. Nikamwambia wewe mke wangu utafungwa. You don't beat me. Usipige na mnaye. You choose where to beat. Chagua pa kupiga. And from there she understood. Na kuanzia pale alielewa. And he stopped. Akaacha. Not say eh, hey, you are speaking for your children. Sio kwamba wewe unawatetea watoto wako. No no no. Hapana. What I'm saying, ninachosema, I'm protecting you. Nakulinda wewe. You will be jailed. Utafungwa. <laughs> Are you getting that? Nalipata hilo. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Bwana bwana alibariki. Are you getting that? Nalipata hilo. Okay, another thing. Wewe majambo jingine. I know there are so many things in this you can't finish them or I'll just cut najua kuna mambo mengi sana kwenye hili huwezi kuyamaliza so many so many mambo mengi mambo mengi let me say this lakini ngoja mimi niseme hivi you know unajua a woman should be a woman mke mwanamke anapaswa awe mwanamke eh if i visit the home any home that i can visit kama nikitembelea nyumba nyumba yote ambayo naweza kutembelea by just looking at the yard na kwa kuangalia tu uwanja i can tell what kind of a woman lives there naweza kukuambia ni aina gani ya mwanamke anaishi hapa if she is lazy if she is dirty kama ni kama ni mvivu au kama ni mchafu i just look at the yard naangalia tu uwanja <laughs> and say mm, na ha, zeno, mm, my brother is in problem here oh ndugu yangu yuko matatizoni hapa
Just by looking at the earth. Kwa kuangalia tu uwanja. A woman is supposed to make sure that everything at home is set in order. Mke anapaswa ahakikishe kwamba kila kitu nyumbani kimekaa kwenye utaratibu. Sipi ile ya? Clean ile. Kufagia uwanja, kusafisha nyumba. Sometimes even surprising your husband. Wakati mwingine hata kumsurprise mume wako in the bedroom. Chumbani. Find that at the pillow there there is flowers. Kushangaa kwamba kwenye mto pale umepambwa na maua. No. It it makes you know the mind of someone. Inafanya akili ya mtu. Eh? You see? Tayona. Okay, kafta kwa. Hii kaua tu kamebandikwa kwenye mto. Are you getting it? Nalipata hiyo. I believe a married person mtu ambaye ameoa we know that there is someone are you get us mnalipata this thing that i'm speaking the prophet sometimes you sometimes all sometimes you read i have read some places where the prophet said you know sometimes mida can just mambo, write a letter haya mambo ambayo nayasema nyi uenda mmesoma mahali fulani wakati mwingine nabii alikuwa na sema eh wakati mwingine mida anataka I have set my children in the be, in their bedrooms kama nimewaweka watoto wangu chumbani then I read alafu nasoma karatasi alichoniandikia I will know what she means alafu najua ameniandikia nini it sets there eh hey, are you following that mnaelewa hiyo and a woman na mwanamke excuse me i'm mm. not going to quote everything muni, but muni we are this is not to talk like because of the time kwa sababu ya wakati if things are coming this one is mambo yanashuka speak me and speak me kila kitu kinaniambia niseme mimi niseme mimi blessed be the name of the lord hey. a woman is not supposed to be so busy mke hapaswi awe na kazi nyingi kupita kiasi she was busy during the day a husband has come she is too busy alikuwa bize kutu nzima mmewe amekuja bado yuko bize bize 6 kuloko bize 10 kuloko the bize bize sa 12 the bize husband is there alone in the bedroom mmewe yuko hapo chumbani peke yake he read this message this auntie anasoma ujumbe wa anasoma mwingine until 22 hours mpaka saa 4 eh that brings a, 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 a wrong impression hiyo inaleta speech mbaya that is the evil spirit huyo ndio ni roho chafu go and see a man they don't just speak they he cannot even speak wanaume they fail others they speak but others they fail to speak it depends the means wanaume wengine wanaweza kusema wengi hawaseni inawaumiza tu na wala ndani kwa ndani lakini kwa nini i am here in the ni, house niko hapa nyumbani when i was out she was busy nilipokuwa si i have come she is busy nilipokuwa si alikuwa busy nimerudi bado yuko busy even if it is the lord jesus christ hata kama ingekuwa ni bwana Yesu. He doesn't want a busy believer like that. Hata Yesu mwenye ataki waamini wa, wa busy busy namna hiyo. He wants you sometimes to separate yourself to go and be with the Lord. Anakutaka wakati mwingine ujitenge na mambo uende uwe pamoja na Bwana. You communicate with the Lord. Uwasiliane na Bwana. Fellowship with him. Uwe na ushirika naye. Huh? And when the husband has come. Na wakati mume amekuja She he should not just wait for many meal. Eh? Eh? Me, me, it, me a, a dependent I'm waiting for a heavy meal and also a, a good wife can it prepare simple starters like you go to soup drink there to the husband so please when he's just coming in the house to rest my husband I've seen that you are tired sasa mume apaswe akiwa amerudi nyumbani anasubiria tu chakula yani kile chakula kizito wali maharage au kicho kizito ugali na nyama na nini hapaswi wakati amekaa amepumzika uhangaike utafuta kitu kepesi kepesi kakinywaji fulani kasupu kidogo kumtuliza tuliza hivi mume wangu epata hii kidogo yeah 
That is refreshment. The sign of welcome. The sign of love. Are you getting that? <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Okay. Those who don't do that. Who told you that? Those who don't do that. Wale wasiofanya hivi. Overcome it. Overcome. Shindeni. Yaani mle sio msiofanya hivyo, ishindeni hiyo hali. Because I know it is not easy but overcome. Kwa sababu najua ya kwamba sio rahisi lakini shinda. Amen. Amen. Why are you seeing the way you have sat? When I'm speaking even something that can make you up you were supposed to that's why you are, we, that's why you have sat to by you should turn and laugh nimeona jinsi mlivyokaa yani haya ninayoyaongea nilikuwa nimetegemea hata mnajeukiana kidogo and then he laugh ndalau mchekeane kidogo you have read the point au umesikia hivyo now it is like i am seeing that there is a problem you can't even see each other hamwezi hata kuangaliana Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So now you are saying, mm. Bible sasa unasema, mm. Pastor you have spoken too much about a woman. Mchungaji umezungumza sana kuhusu mwanamke. How about a man? Vipi kuhusu mwanaume? Even a man. Hata mwanamume. I am the same thing. Let, let, let Jambo lile. I'm, I'm going to close with this thing. Nitafunga na hiki. <laughs> this. And in the book of Ephesians kwenye kitabu cha waefeso We can start at Ephesians chapter 5 verse 24. Naweza kuanza wa Efeso mstari wa 5, eh sura ya 5 mstari wa kuanzia 24. Okay. Therefore as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Lakini kama vile kanisa limtiizwa Kristo vivyo hivyo wake nao wawatii waume zao katika kila jambo. Okay. Now let us touch the moon. Why sub- submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the Lord? Uh, any wake watini wa ume zenu kama kumtii bwana bwana wetu. For the husband is the head of the wife. Kwa kuwa mume ni kichwa cha mkewe. Even as Christ is the head of the church kama Kristo naye ni kichwa cha kanisa and he is the savior of the body naye ni mwokozi wa mwili okay the husband now I'm, I'm omitting the wife we know that the wife is supposed to subject herself to the husband hata namuondoa mke kwa kwa mke anapaswa kuji as and to the lord kujikabidhi kwa mmewe au kumtii mmewe kama kwa bwana but now lakini sasa he is saying lakini hapa inasema for the husband is the head of the wife kwa kuwa mume ni kichwa cha Even as Christ is the head of the church. Palivyo kichwa cha Kanisa. He is the savior of the body. Na yeye ni mwokozi wa mwili. So a husband. Kwa hivyo mume is a savior ni mwokozi of the body wa mwili. In the Old Testament, katika agano la kale, a woman, mwanamke, was called a circumcised woman by the circumcision of the man aliitwa mwanamke aliyetahiriwa kwa utohara ya mwanamume are you getting that nalipata hilo so kwa hivyo a man is circumcised kwa hiyo mwanaume akitahiriwa that is when she was called a jew hapo ndipo alikuwa anaitwa myahudi and also a woman a jew na kisha mkewe naye myahudi she is already saved tayari ameokolewa And now I'm going to say this. Na sasa nataka kunaweza kusema hivi. 
in every matter katika kila jambo make sure that your wife is saved hakikisha ya kwamba mkeo ameokolewa whether in spiritual matters or iwe physical, ni jambo la ki, la kiroho au la physical matters au mambo ya kimwili god will hold you responsible over your wife mungu atakuwajibisha kwa mkeo kwa sababu ya mkeo and this is what is going to change everything na hili ndio litakalobadilisha kila kitu when you in jesus christ is not stingy kwa sababu Yesu Kristo sio mchoyo he gives gifts anatoa karama he gives you vision anakupa maono he gives you the preacherman anakupa wahubiri all sorts of gifts vitu vyote za wadau with you na wewe hivyo hivyo you make sure that your wife unahakikisha kwamba mkeo anajisikia vizuri sister kasaga are you happy with your husband unamfurahia mmeo yeah That's why I, I just pointed at you. I don't want to start war. Ndio sababu nimekuchagua wewe. Sikutaka kuanzisha vita. Because I know you are happy. Kwa sababu najua una furaha. And I know some who are happy. Na najua wengine wana furaha. But the rest I don't know you. Baadhi wana furaha, lakini wengine sijui. Are you getting Siwajui. that? And I don't want you to start doing like witch hunting and hey. say nisije nikaanza tu kunyoshea vidole no no i don't want that sitaki hiyo i don't want you to hate me for nothing sitaki nimechukie bure but you <laughs> go and you do what the word of god has told you lakini ndeni mkafanye kile ambacho neno la mungu limewaambia are you getting that amen it there are so many things that have been omitted kuna mambo mengi sana ambayo yame that a good woman ambayo tumeyakatisa is a jewel kwamba mke mwema ni ine kramu ni ni lulu ni, ni jiwe la thamani katika ile taji I, this thing i will not forget au kito cha thamani katika taji jambo hili nisije nikanyao pastor i've seen a problem ukibaki nimeona nimeona tatizo kwenye familia especially when they receive a woman receive a, a, a man receive the family Uh, his own family hasa, and they don't want they are against the wife hasa wakati ambapo hiyo familia mume amepokea ndugu zake ndugu zake huko wamekuja hapo na alafu wakawa kinyume na mkeo eh it becomes the problem hapo inakuwa shida eh hiyo hiyo wife mkeo is like this yuko na mna hii he doesn't even receive as well hata wala hatupokei vizuri and also the man na mwanaume naye joins them anaungana nao ah uh, you know unajua she is a bad woman na muelewa ni mwanamke mbaya sana eh, 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 that is very bad hiyo ni mbaya sana and that is dangerous na hiyo ni hatari on that one my family have hated me kwa sababu hiyo familia yangu ndugu zangu yani wamenichukia to come and speak against my wife waje kwangu na kuongea kinyume na mke wangu it is the same as calling me a fool ni sawa sana kuniita mimi mpumbavu so you they can't go they can't start speaking against my wife hawawezi if they speak against my wife they are speaking against me hawawezi hawapaswi kuongea vibaya dhidi ya mke wangu wakiongea mabaya dhidi ya mke wangu wananiongea wana, ni mimi wananitukana i will just tell them nitawaeleza tu no 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 Tafadhali hapana 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 mke wangu is not even wrong mke wangu wala hana kosa lolote it is you who is wrong ninyi ndio mna matatizo my sister came found him the sister kuja siku moja cooking akakuta wadada pale nyumbani wanapika the sister didn't change cooking cooking wadada wa kanisani wanapika pale nyumbani then she said eh mke wangu dada yangu ule akasema me am a teacher mimi ni mwalimu and on 15 we have no money miaka 15 tulikuwa hatuna pesa and this believers they are cooking here and there lakini hao watu wanakuja wanapika pika tu hapa ndani then i said you also go and cook nikamwambia sana wewe takatafute kwa kuse na wewe nenda katafute jiko na wewe endelea kupika ungana nao did i say it is things are finishing kwani nimekuambia kwamba vitu huko ndani vya kupika vimeisha na wewe nenda pika and she said Asori au never speak again. Samani sitaongea tena. Yes. Leave them alone. Nikamwambia sawa, niache waachana nao. 
<laughs> Are you following that? No. <laughs> A woman the same should not be to the side of the family speaking Ata against m- the husband. Protect each other. No, the family is saying, eh, they family. want to take me home because you did not finish paying the one. Family yetu wanasema, inabidi wanichukue kwa sababu wewe hujamalizia mahari. Oh. So you want to go? Kwa hivyo unataka kwenda? Go. Nenda. <laughs> it is not the door that married you. Sio mahari ndio ilikuoa. Those are just formalities. Hiyo ni mambo ni 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 You just tell your family that you just think to my husband. Kawaida. Well, me am already married you t- it is not me who have got credit it is my husband it, 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 the wife should say my ah husband. okay mke anaweza waambie kwamba it is not it is it is my husband who has got credit with M- you mme wangu ndio mnaye mdai not me sasa me sio mimi just a husband to him mi, mimi mimi a eh, wife i am a wife mimi ni mke tu kwake now you want to 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 make me be divorced because of Sasa, the money nataka, that nataka mimi nipewe ni niachwe kwa sababu mnamdai mme wangu oh you are siding with your man eh wewe aha kwa hiyo unakaa upande wa mmewe no we are one ndio sisi ni mmoja we are not two sisi si wawili <laughs> So there is a question. Kwa hiyo kuna swali that I'm closing with. Ambalo ninafunga nalo. Is it right for a believer to use a birth control system? Je, ni sahihi kwa mwaminio kutumia mfumo kutumia mfumo wa uzazi wa mpango? The answer the answer number one is no. Jibu namba moja ni hapana. That is what the prophet refused many times. Nabii alikataa mara nyingi. The pastor knows. Many Mchungaji anajua. And he says I'm tired of this. Mara nyingi mpaka akasema nimechoka na mambo hayo. He said the woman has got so many days. Alisema mwanamke ananjia siku nyingi. Where she cannot be conceived. Nyingi sana ambazo hawezi kushika mimba. Are you following that? Na lipata. Now it takes now uh, the pastor now to sit with each and every family to teach them how to go about it not using contraceptives sio sasa ni wajibu wa mchungaji kuketi na kila familia na kuzungumza nao namna ya kulitenda sio kumeza madawa Eko, the prophet said za uzazi wa mpango madawa ya uzazi wa mpango na maanisha because the prophet said kwa sababu nabii alisema when a child is just conceived ende wakati tu mtoto mimba inapotunga to kill it it is the same as taking a shot gun and kill kumuua ni sawa sana kuchukua bunduki na kuua mtu thank you for supporting me because for me to speak i know i am speaking among the people who read nashukuru kwa kuniunga mkono kwa sababu kwa mimi kuongea hivi naongea na watu ambao najua kwamba wanasoma so again to put a jadeo hasa pia kuweka vile wanaita vijiti Eja deo hivyo vijiti hmm. as for the antibodies the uh, what is that uh, antibodies that are male male eh? hormones yes i wanted hmm. to say hormones the hormones of another man zina mle kuna vina vinaitwa vichocheo vichoche so vichoche, in... vichoche zimwili vya mwanaume mwingine So when you put them in your body. Kwa hivyo unapoviweka mwilini mwako, it means that you have put the male dead cells. Umeweka uh, chembe hai zilizokufa za mwanaume. And then when another male cell enter, then the male cells will be killing that they will be fighting. <laughs> Ili kwamba uh, chembe nyingine za mwanaume zilizo hai zikiingia zipambane na hizi. 
and the prophet said na nabii anasema how <laughs> okay I, 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 no, no. Uh, uh, let me not say the prophet said but i want to Boja say this how, how can i get how can a bride of jesus christ have the male seed of another man and she is free and she is expecting to go in the rapture and she is a killer bibi harusi wa yesu kristo anawezaje kuchukua mbegu seli za mwanaume mwingine awe nazo alafu bado atarajie kwenda unyakuoni that is not a right thing hilo sio jambo sahihi the quotation i have it nuku nilizonazo but i am saying the time cannot allow us can i read it you can read your this one thing Maswali na majibu Ndugurumu 540516 Yes Haraka haraka para 42 A baby is a baby when it is formed Mtoto ni mtoto anapoumbika The very first gem ile chembe hai ya kwanza kuingia in the mother in, in the mother zoom ndani ya tumbo la mwanamke tayari ni mtoto i am family against birth control mimi sa, eh, kabisa kabisa niko kinyume si. na mpango wa uzazi yes sir naona for where yeah, is it, eh, for where it is just as much as harm to take the rifle of a little baby that ain't two months old eh a life it is eh uh-huh. kwa sababu to take the life of a little baby that ain't two months old eh uh, kwa, kwa sababu eh uh, ni mahali ambapo eh uh, pana madhara kuchukua kuondoa uhai wa mtoto mdogo ambaye hajafikia miezi miwili eh uh-huh. then Uh, Odd. as, as it, it is to, to pull a piece sawa na kuvuta bastola and shoot a man down in cold blood murder na kumpiga risasi mtu moja kwa moja kumua. yes sir i am against death control mimi niko kinyume na uzazi wa mpango what god sent sends god will, god will take care of mungu anapokileta mungu ataki ataki atakishughulika ataki nacho are you getting that mnalipata hilo a day the child is conceived to god is a baby siku hiyo hiyo ambayo mtoto ametungwa mimba that the very day is a baby siku hiyo hiyo ni mtoto don't kill usimuue hmm. that one is very good yes usimuue and, and when the prophet went in the message the spirit in the message the spirit of god something like that na nabii alipoongea kwenye ujumbe kama roho the, the spirit of the, the spirit of god Some roho wa mungu kitu kama hicho uh-huh. the prophet was in the hunting trip in the in, he was he went in the hunting trip uh, okay nabii alikuwa ameenda kwenye safari ya kuwinda we see this man who was worshiping in the church called the mammons alikuwa na mtu ambaye alikuwa na kusanyika kwenye kanisa la hao oh, anaitwa watakatifu wa, kanisa la watakatifu wa siku za mwisho momoni then he said brother Branham ndugu Branham ah it is very bad for me ah ni jambo baya sana kwangu because <coughs> kwa sababu my wife ke wangu miska miskared ali eh, ali alitokwa mimba mimba iliharibika and it is bad that uh, i will not see that child anymore Ah sasa ni jambo baya kwamba huyu mtoto sitamuona tena. Then the prophet said, Nabii akamwambia, Depends upon what you believe. Inategemea na unachoamini. Then what what do you mean? Akasema unamaanisha nini? Then the prophet said, Nabii akasema, If God has predestinated that child, kama Mungu amemchagua kimbele huyu mtoto, is a still born baby. Hata kama bado ni mtoto ambaye hajazaliwa, atakuepo. I believe you search it you read it for them. Naamini utatafuta hiyo utawasomea. 
Are you get that? Mnalipata hilo? It will be there. Atakuepo pale. No why should you kill something that God considers as a baby? Sasa unawezaje kuua kitu ambacho Mungu tayari ameshakihesabia kuwa ni mtoto? Never. Hapana. Stop that. Acha hilo. No. They have got to fall. many children I want to stop. Oh mimi na watoto wengi sana nataka staki nataka ni In other quotes kuacha. The prophet said it is a shame to you. Kwenye nuku nyingine nabii anasema ni aibu kwako. He said the people want to control their their their, their best and they, they spend money on dogs and what? Anasema tena watu ambao wanataka ku kudhibiti uzazi wanatumia pesa nyingi sana kununua mbu anapaka and they are nursing babies na wanakaa na wana vibembeleza and those na ma, na ma, ni, wana sesere that is very bad hilo ni jambo baya sana are you following that mnalielewa may the lord god bless you mungu awabariki i believe these Nami. things have helped you mambo haya yamewasaidia amen amen Now men stop crapping. I want if the sisters have benefited, let them crap. Sasa waume wanaume msipige makofi. Nataka niwasikie wadada kama wamenufaika wapige makofi. <laughs> And also men, you don't clap. If men have benefited, let them crap. Na ninyi wanaume tulionufaika tupige makofi. Praise God. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Are you get that? Bwana Can you one ask a question one 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 or two watu wawili waulize waulize maswali swali moja au maswali mawili maybe god can give us wisdom to answer na labda before that one niongeze kwamba jumatano tutakuwa na ibada hapa sasa ile ibada ya jumatano kwa huu upako nao uona sitaki iwe ibada nyingine nataka iwe ibada ya wanandoa tena jumatano ndio aondoke hii hapa inatubana bana <laughs> Jumatano tuje tena kuanzia saa kumi jioni tukae hata mpaka saa moja. <laughs> Au mnasemaje? <laughs> Amina. Ah. Eh. Are, okay. Question. Maswali. Au tusubiri Jumatano. Yaandiko ya yaje Jumatano. Let's write them down. Okay. May God bless you. Mungu awabariki. Wa